Hi everyone, welcome to our live stream and thank you for tuning in. My name is Daniel and I am from the community team at Lottie Files. We are super excited today to be sharing about interactive Lottie animations in iOS. Joining us today are our very own Leonardo Ferreira, senior iOS engineer and Evandro Hoffman, head of mobile at Lottie Files. We hope you're ready for what's to come. And I believe we have folks tuning in from all across the globe. Please do give yourself a shout out on the live chat and tell us where you're tuning in from. Hello. For those joining our live stream for the first time, let me start by giving you a quick intro to Lottie Files. Now, Lottie Files is a platform for testing, collaborating, and discovering animations for a community of designers and developers. The platform offers a variety of tools and features that aim to make discovery, creation, implementation of Lottie animations easier and more efficient. There are plenty of ways you can make full use of Lottie's. Our speakers, Leo and Evandro, will be covering this in more detail later during this session. Now, there are plenty of ways you can make full use of Lottie. You can use them in your app, in your website, create funky telegram stickers, add them to your games, or even in AR and VR, or even use them in your presentations and or ads. There are over 130,000 companies that uses Lottie files to ship their animation. And some of them include TikTok, Google, Airbnb, and Disney. Look at that myriad of logos on screen. Can you spot any that you recognize? Aha. Uh -huh. Other than that, our team runs various events across the globe covering topics for developers, designers, and marketers. So do check out our community page or simply search for hashtag Lottie Community on any social media channels to find and connect with our fellow organizers and evangelists. And lastly, before we begin our session, please enjoy this short intro video about Lottie Files. I've got a big fat drum, big fat drum, I've got a big fat drum, pawning some bad, I've got a big fat drum, big fat drum, I've got a big fat, big fat, big, 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 big. Listen! Yeah. Clap. Uh. You ready? Let's go.
Now, was that dope or was that dope? Yeah, that was dope. Now, let's welcome our speakers on stage for this session. Leonardo Ferreira, Senior iOS Engineer at Lottie Files, and Evandro Hoffman, Head of Mobile at Lottie Files. Leo and Evandro, welcome. Hello. All right, would you like to introduce yourselves to the viewers? Okay, so hello everyone. My name is Leonardo. I'm from Brazil, Senior iOS Engineer here at Lottie Files. And I'm responsible for the Apple platforms app applications here at Lottie Files, like desktop app, uh, iOS app. And I love to give like a great user experience for your users and love motion design. Evandro, what about you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So my name is Evandro. I'm also from Brazil. Uh, as Daniel said, I'm head of mobile here in Lottie Files. I'm responsible for the apps in Lottie Files, so desktop and mobile. Uh, and uh, I'm passionate about adding this, like the, the cherry to the top of the, the cake, uh, the, the extra magic to the apps. All right. Magic sounds good. And magic is what everyone will have today. <laughs> Here's to a great session ahead. And I think Evandro will be the one to present first. So Evandro, the stage is yours. Yeah. All right. So today we're going to be talking about uh, using interact interactive uh, in, uh, interactions using Lottis. Uh, well, there are several ways of using Lottie animations in our apps. Like uh, there, there is you. You can add like uh, animations based on achievements. Let's say, for example, your your user finished that task, and then like you you add an animation or a loading animation uh, that can be like a spinner or some animation that will uh, just distract your user while you, you uh, you're loading something on the background. Uh, but what we're talking about here today is actually like uh, the ones that are actually actually responsive based on actions uh, from the user interactions. Uh, well, in the end of the year, we actually added into our app uh, something, uh, it's ex exactly this animation here, uh, which is a, a gift that once the user taps on it, uh, we do like a shaking animation, uh, like we're trying to open the gift. And then when I tap again, uh, I will reveal the, the the gift, which in this case is uh, basically a, a label, but it could be anything uh, on the bottom there. Another way of using interactions uh, with Lottie animations is actually having toggles. So for example, like I'm using this toggle to change the background color of uh, uh, of this uh, uh, like dark and light mode. Uh, so so basically like uh, it's it's one Lottie animation that does that. Uh, and another one that is very common in social medias these days or in different apps as well, that you can like comments, you can like animations or uh, uh, images like posts and so on, uh, that uh, you have a like button that have basically two states. Uh, if I tap on it, there is some animation and then it, uh, it shows as liked. Uh, and if I tap again, uh, it removes the, 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 the like state. But it's actually one... Uh, one Lottie uh, file that uh, that you can actually go if you if you want to to find like uh, some cool ones you can go to lottiefiles.com like search for a like and you're going to see a bunch of cool ones uh, over there uh, the one that I used for this example is actually this one and you can see that I have for the same animation both of the states uh, from liked to unlike to liked or, or the opposite as well. And how to do that, Leo is actually going to, to show us uh, in, in iOS uh, using UIKit and also SwiftUI. So Leo to you. Oh, hello again. So let's get started. As Evandro has shown us the animation, we are going to create that like button um, that we can click and it's going to like and animate for the like and it's going to be in a filled state and then once we click, click again it's going to animate to uh, disliking and then it will become in a disliked state as well so let's get started so the first thing that i have here on my computer i already downloaded the like.json animation that evandro has shown us so it also has a preview here a preview icon because I'm using uh, the Lottie Files Mac OS app, so I have it installed over here. It's just in the background. And we are going to drop, the, drop this animation inside Lottie Files app so we can play a little bit around with that. So we can see the animation playing. It's uh, liking animation, then becoming feel it, and then disliking again. So let's pause this animation and use some stuff that we are going to need for uh, or implementation on UI kit and Swift UI for iOS. 
So the first thing that we need to do is we need to discover from where we are going to have our animations, right? Uh, um, actually, from where we are going to have our states, right? So if we, if we check here, we start from zero and then we start playing the animation. The, the animation starts and it becomes filled state until like, uh, for example, half of the animation, we have the full filled state of uh, like it. And then from the half to the end, it's gonna be disliking animation and becoming in the disliked state back again, right? So we are gonna use this progress from zero to 50% and then from 50% to 100% on our implementation on Swift uh, UI Kit and Swift UI, right? So let's get started. I have here my basic project for UI Kit. We are gonna start for UI Kit and then later we are going to use some part of the implementation for UI kit on Swift UI as well, making it adopt to, adoptable to Swift UI. But let's get started. So in my code here, I have just a, a like view controller, which is a plain view controller. And I also have added the Lodi uh, library over here as a Swift package manager. So that's all I have over here, right? Let's get started by dropping or like JSON animation into our project. So let's drop it here and we are gonna copy items if needed. So all good, let's make it full screen again so we can start coding, right? So the first thing that we are going to do, we already have our uh, like animation here. We are gonna create our animation view using Lodi, right? So private lazy bar, um, let's create an animation view. It's going to be the type of animation view. Oops, animation view. And it already auto imports the Lottie library for us here, as we can see, right? So that's great. Let's do that. Let's start as animation view again. Animation view, and we are going to create the object, right? It's going to receive an animation, and uh, the, our animation is going to be animation named, right? And our name is going to be the like animation. So let's just copy the name of our animation over here. Nice. The second thing that we are going to do, we are going to call animation view dot content mode, the content mode just to make it look good on the screen. So it's going to be aspect fit. And then we are going to set up the speed as well. I don't need a very slow animation. So I, I just I, I want to make my button my animation directly for, uh, to my user, but I don't need it to be very slow. So let's make like uh, the normal speed like uh, the default is one, but we want to make it two for now, right? So let's make it two. And then we are going to return our animation view. So we just created our animation view object over here, right? And on view did load, we are going to do our auto layout to add our view into the screen and also pin it uh, to the screen, right? So I just dropped some code over here, uh, just auto layout code with constraints, and I'm going to explain it very quickly for you. So the first thing that we have, we have like uh, animation view translates auto into auto resizing masks as false because we are going to use auto layout. So we need that as false, right? The second thing, we add uh, our animation view into this uh, view controller's uh, view as a sub view, right? And then we create our four constraints over here and activate them. The first one is centering horizontally. The second one is center vert is centering vertically, the animation view in the screen. And the third one, like uh, setting width and height anchors for as a 300, right? So that's great. We already have our animation view pinned, added to the screen and pinned into the screen, right? And now we want to give some interaction for it, right? So to add interactions, we are going to need a tap gesture for our animation. So let's do that. Let's add, create a tap gesture over here. It's gonna be uh, of type UI tap gesture and the target's gonna be self, is gonna be this view. And then we are gonna add a selector, right? And let's create our objective C method over here. So it's gonna be visible to the selector. So it's a private function. I'm gonna call it as to go like. So our method is gonna be call it to go like and here let's use the go like, nice. And then finishing up, we're gonna add our tap gesture to our animation view, right? So add gesture recognizer, tap gesture, nice. Now to make the state, we are gonna have two states for our 
a lot of interaction, lot of button interaction, right? So we are going to have like uh, the like it and dislike it state. So for that, we are going to need a variable to control that, right? So let's create a variable, private var is like it. I'm going to call like this. It's going to be type of Boolean. Uh, and the default value is going to be false, right? And the first thing we are going to do, once the user clicks on the animation, we are going to change the state, right? So we are going to invert the state. So if the animation is like, it's going to be disliked. And if the animation is already disliked, we are going to like it again, right? So let's do the inversion of states, right? Uh, okay, and here comes the magic. Let's add some logic once the animation is like it and when it's not like it, right? So here it comes the real cool magic that we are going to do. We are going to call animation view dot play from progress. So as we uh, I have shown here before, like we need to play to animate and like state from zero to fifty percent, and then from fifty percent to hundred percent to dislike, right? So let's do that. Let's play from progress zero zero to progress zero dot five. The loop mode is going to be play once, and we don't need any completion, and if the animation is not like it, then we are going to finish up the flow. So we are going to play from 0 0.5 to 1.0 to 100%. And we don't have any completions, right? So yes, that's it. We are pretty much ready for that, right? Let's play and check it out on our simulator. OK. If we click, we have our animation liking, and if you click again, disliking, liking, and disliking. Oh, this is pretty cool. We just did our implementation for uh, for UIKit, right? So nice. If you have any questions, just make sure to drop a message on our chat, and we are going to answer that later on the Q&A session. So let's start now with the Swift UI implementation, right? So I have another project over here, which is going to be uh, it's a plain project as well, a Swift UI project. Uh, in my content view, I just have some text here saying hello. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> just a simple text here. And then we have a like view, which is our plain view here. Let's start by implementing our like view. So like view, oops, let's, sorry, let me start as a struct because views on Swift UI are struct. So like view. It's going to conform with the protocol UI view representable. Oops, UI view representable. And from UI view representable protocol, we are going to implement two methods make UI view and also update UI view, right? But we don't need to return some UI view. We want to return our uh, animation view ready, right? So uh, let's change the return type to be animation view. And it also Auto imports Lottie for us, right? Oh, I just forgot that on our Swift UI project as well, we also have our Lottie library added over here as a Swift UI, uh, as a SPM and Swift Packet Manager, not Swift UI. Swift UI is the project. And we will need to drop the like animation over here as well. So let's drop the animation here as well. I just forgot to do those steps before. so. Just adding the animation back here, nice. So, okay, going back to our like view implementation, we just changed it and we imported our library here. We changed the type, right? Let's change it on new update UI view. The name of uh, UI view, I don't want to be UI view, I want it to be animation view. So, we can reuse our implementation from uh, UI kit over here, right? So, let's do that. In the make UI view protocol, let's create this one here and return. Let's create our animation view as in the same way as we did on UI kit. So let's do that on Swift UI. So all good. And for update UI view, we are gonna get the same logic that we use it over here, right? Down here in the toggle like, we are gonna use that on update UI view, right? But we will need to have a is like it state, right? So let's add that for Swift UI as well. Binding variable is like it. And it's gonna be the type of foo as well. Oh, good. So our implementation is ready for the like view, right? But now we need to use this like view in the content view, right? So let's delete 
oops, let's delete this text from here. So like view, and we are gonna need uh, is like it state. So let's add a uh, state variable over here on our content view. It's gonna be a variable is like it as well, boolean type and as a default value false, right? As it is a binding value, we will use the dollar sign from Swift UI to make it, to pass it into our like view. And then we are gonna use some magic from Swift UI, which makes our life super easy, which is the on tap gesture method. And on, on tap gesture method, we're gonna invert the state value for is like it, right? The same way as we did on toggle like method for the UI kit implementation. So yeah, we have our implementation for Swift UI ready. We use it most the same stuff from the um, UI kit on Swift UI. So let's check this out as well. So nice. Okay, we have here our like animation and wow, if we like it likes and animates and if we dislike it, dislikes and animates as well. So pretty cool. We just implemented everything on UI kit and also on Swift UI. So if you have any questions, uh, make sure to drop a message for us on the comment section and we can answer at the Q&A. Uh, and just a uh, closing thought. So uh, I have shown like, uh, how we can do this uh, UI kit implementation for interactive animations uh, using a, a like button over here, right? As we can see a like button. Uh, we did the same using mostly like 80% of the code that we wrote in uh, UI kit. We used that also on Swift UI and we did that like uh, all good. We are gonna have also a repository with all this code and all the examples that Evandro has shown us at the beginning as well. And we are gonna drop that on the links, uh, on the comment section, the link is gonna be dropped soon for you all. And thank you. And I guess we are going to start. We are going to uh, get Evandro back on the stage as well and start with the Q&A session. All right. Thank you, Leo and Evandro. That was a great session. Let's now get to the Q&A portion of the live stream. So everybody, please drop your questions for Leo and Evandro in the comments section. And in the meantime, we have a couple of questions from our registrations. So let's perhaps get to that first. All right. So the first question is how to reduce the file size of a Lottie? Well, uh, Lottie animation is, uh, is a JSON file, with, which is basically a text file. So if you clean up text, of course, the, the file size is going to decrease. Uh, but the best way to, to actually do that is using, using .lottie. You can check in .lottie.io. We're going to, to post the, the link here. Uh, and like basically, uh, most of the animations, uh, the compression rate is about 80%. Uh, and you can even add more animations and even images inside of the same file. So, so yeah, that, that's dot All right, let's, uh, let's look at another question, shall we, for the moment? Is there a quick and easy way to make my own Lottie animated icon GIF? Yes, uh, there are actually two. Uh, you can try in lottiefiles.com, search for any animation, and then download as a, as a GIF file. Uh, but you can also do that from the, the desktop and also mobile apps. Uh, you can choose any animation or you can import your own animations. And then like you hit on uh, uh, export, uh, share, and you're going to be able to, to choose GIF. And we're going to, to, uh, to generate the GIF for you uh, for any of those animations. All right, thanks so much. Uh, let's find another question. Is it possible to change colors in Lottie animation in iOS interactions? Yes, you can. <laughs> you can actually, like, uh, there, there are two ways you can do that. Uh, uh, one of them is uh, do it on, on demand. There is uh, something called uh, that I just forgot the, the name of the, the, the thing, but uh, I can I can put it on the link below after. Uh, there, there is, uh, but you can also go to the app uh, and then get any of the animations and then uh, tap on edit. Uh, you can edit the animations. You can even take a picture 
of, uh, of your logo. Uh, we're going to extract the color palette of your logo and then uh, put in the, in the animation. Uh, so that's already available for, for the mobile and tablet apps. And you can also do that. Um, yeah, that, that, that's basically it. You can also uh, change individual colors if you don't like any specific one. Nice. I see that we have a question as well here. I understand that they are different types of codes, but is it possible to adopt uh, this for Android? Yes, of course. Uh, this is a question for from our Android buddies. So yes, of course, it's possible to adopt. Like uh, the codes are different. For example, like the library on uh, for Android is, is it's done on Kotlin, but. Uh, uh, we can do that because the code is mostly the code for the library is mostly the same. So uh, the same thing that we sh have shown here for iOS that we can play from progress, all those methods and the animation view, everything is the same for Android. So of course it's pretty doable and should be as easy as it was for iOS. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. Thanks for asking. Question, Henrique. Uh, if there's any more questions, please do remember to uh, drop it in the chat below. Uh, but in the meantime, let's see if we have uh, any other questions. Have we got? All right, we've got one of these. Okay. Are there any limitations to using Lottie on iOS? Yes, there is. Uh, and there's actually, uh, actually limitations for all the platforms. You can actually check the entire list uh, of, uh, of limitations for each one of the platforms uh, in the link that we're going to post here as well for supported features. And if you're aware of what to, to add to the animation or what to not add, uh, then you can have them working in all the, the platforms. Awesome. Thanks so much. All right, let's see if we have any other questions from the chat today. No? Yeah? No? All right. No, no more. I believe, <laughs> yeah, I believe that might, might be it then. And I guess now that brings us to the end of the Q&A segment. Once again, I'd like to thank Leo and Evandro again for doing this live stream with us. But before the two of them goes, are there any final words or piece of advice that you'd like to share with our viewers today? Yeah, thank you all for watching. And I hope this was useful. And uh, I can't wait to see the magic that you're going to create. And if you have any question, you can always drop us a message as well. Yes, uh, thank you for watching. It was awesome doing this. I hope you enjoyed like uh, the live demo for iOS. And if you have any questions, just drop us a message. We're just a, a message away on the social media. And that's it. Thank you for joining us. Awesome. Thank you. And we will now have Leo and Evandro off stage. Bye-bye. <laughs> Speaking of socials, before you go, dear viewers, do stay connected with us via our social channels. You can follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, GitHub, and even chat with us on Discord. And we hope to see you there. Lastly, and importantly, we value your feedback. Feel free to scan the QR code or go to lottie.link forward slash community to give your feedback for the live stream. And guess what? One lucky winner will be chosen at random for some cool Lottie file swag. So get your feedback in. And lastly, I am Daniel, and on behalf of the Lottie Files team, thank you for joining us. See you in the next live stream.